My name is Vanessa. I'm actually super excited to start this like new series dedicated to nuclear medicine content. I actually posted this picture on my Instagram asking if there were any questions or any ideas and I was not expecting the type of response that I got. So I feel like I have to do this. I, I'm gonna start. What I wanna do first is kind of just address y'all's questions. So this will be a Q&A video. And the very first question I feel like I need to start out with is what is nuclear medicine? Nuclear medicine is a branch in radiology. So in radiology, you've got nuclear medicine, but there's also x-ray, CT, ultrasound, mammogram, echo, fluoro, PET, the list goes on. What makes nuclear medicine different is that the camera used in nuclear medicine does not emit any radiation. The radiation is actually in an injection and depending on what type of test that you're performing, that injection is different for each test. Every other modality is actually looking at the anatomy of the patient, what something looks like. Nuclear medicine is used to look at the physiology of the body. So how is this organ working? Which is pretty amazing to me. Okay, so someone asked me, tell me pros and cons about your job. I'll start with cons. I feel like cons are easier because I'm a negative Nancy, I'm just kidding. Healthcare period, you're gonna see some nasty stuff. You're gonna see gangrenous toes. The hardest part for me is smells because in healthcare you also have to keep like, you know, like a poker face. But when it's, when something's funky, sometimes you just, you know, gotta make a face and it's really hard to keep a poker face when you're just like, okay, I'm gonna get you over here on the table. I'm kidding. I try my hardest to keep a poker face, but I can't, I can't with the smells. Oh. Another con about my job, it's not a humongous job market. It's nowhere near as easy to find a job, say for instance, being a nurse. So that is a con to the job. Okay, so pros about nuclear medicine. Uh, what I really like is that it's a little more hands-on than something like x-ray, where in that you're finished with the patient so quickly. It's not as hands-on as something like nursing. It's like the perfect mix for me. You're starting IVs, you're giving an injection, uh, you're preparing medications, you're working behind an L-shield and a white lab coat. That's a real pro for me. I like that it's more than snapping a picture. Another pro, I feel like the job is easy. The hardest part is school, like learning everything. Don't get me wrong, there are some days where you're like, you worked for your money today. Another pro, the pay. The pay is among the highest in modalities of radiology. Okay, another question someone asked me was, is the job what you thought it would be after graduating? That's a really good question. Um, yes and no. Yes, because you have, I had a whole entire year of clinical rotation so I mean you get a really good idea of exactly what you're going to be doing so yes it is in that aspect and I'm going to say no because the job that I landed after graduating I'm the only nuclear medicine technologist in the department and I was not expecting that someone asked me was it easy landing a job after you finished school were you able to get a full-time job right away oh it was not easy getting a full-time job after graduating. Um, I did get a couple of PRN offers. I was looking for full-time, so I did not accept any PRN positions. Four months it took me to get a full-time job, but my advice is to be open to moving. And that's specific to the state that I live in. There are states where it seems like there's way more nuclear medicine job openings and look online and see what's available close to you. Pretend like you're applying to a job and you can kind of get an idea of what's available. But there are places where it seems like Florida, New York, California, Texas, they always have job openings. South Carolina is just like slow. People, since it's a good job, people don't wanna leave until they like retire or die. So, I don't know. All right, so someone else asked me, talk about your schooling process and interview process, what the questions were like. I would have loved to see a video about this before I interviewed, my God. 
I was so nervous for my interview. Um, but okay, so for schooling, at least here um, in South Carolina, there is one technical college that offers a nuclear medicine program. And the prerequisite to apply to this program is of course a certain GPA and um, need to have at least an associate to enter the certificate program. And the program here in South Carolina is just one full year. Okay, so then my interview. Um, I interviewed late. I can't remember exactly what the issue was, but there was an issue. There was only one spot left and it was between me and one other person. And I don't know who that person is. Sorry to that person. But I'm trying to remember questions they asked me. Before we interviewed for the position, they gave us the opportunity to do like a job shadow. I took notes at my job shadow because I just knew that something was going to be questioned during the interview. Lucky me, because they did ask in the interview, you know, what stood out to you? And I remember what blew my mind then was they were doing a test. It's called a gastric empty test and you have to prepare an egg. They made this egg a scrambled egg, uh, but before they cooked the egg, they squirted some radiation into it. And then the patient eats the radioactive egg. And that blew my mind. So I knew I was gonna talk about that as soon as they asked me that question. They asked, they did ask me like, what is something, what is something you think you would need to work on? I'm late to everything. So I said my time management skills in nuclear medicine with everything being radioactive and it's constantly decaying, you have to be on a strict time schedule. And so I realized my ta time management has to be on point. They like that too. And they just, you need to be prepared for like example questions. Like, give me an example of when you were really stressed out, but you made it work. Something like that. You got this. Okay, then someone asked me any tips for the interview. Um, my best tip is to come looking sharp. Dress like you would for a job interview. Don't walk in there in jeans. Don't, do not show up in scrubs. Dress professional is my biggest tip. Advice for upcoming nuke med students. Baby nukes, that's what I call them. Baby nukes students. Advice would be if you have not job shadowed, definitely do. A lot of people, just healthcare period, come in thinking they can do it and they, they just realize, oh my gosh, no. Another tip I can give, before I did the nuclear medicine program, I hadn't really been inside of a hospital. So just the hospital environment was freaking me out. It was stressful. Just, you know, seeing doctors running around, zipping past you, looking at all this equipment that you don't know what it is, what it's used for, what they do, who's dying over there. Stick in there because you get used to it. You're gonna get so used to it, it'll feel like home. <laughs> but I do remember being like, <laughs> my first couple days in the hospital. You need to brush up on math. The math can get pretty insane. Like it, it gets pretty intense. And just do not fall behind. Every equation that you learn in the beginning, will be part of an equation for the stuff that you learn in the end. So you absolutely have to learn the fundamentals. Steady, steady, steady. It was tough, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, another question. It's the last one I'm gonna do. Was the certification test hard? Woo! Was it hard? That test was so hard. I mean, I was like sweating in there. It took me like two and a half hours to take that test. I'm not lying when I say it was the hardest test I've ever taken. And since that nuclear medicine certification test, I have also taken the CT certification test that's offered through NMTCB. That CT test was a piece of cake compared to the nuclear medicine test. No lie. So you, you just, you gotta study. And you have to study because all of this is gonna be brand new information to you. You didn't know what the half-life of Technetium 99M was. This is all brand new information, so you have got to drill it into your head. Plus, people's lives are on the line here. So you, you need to know, not just memorize, but you need to know what you're doing and what you're talking about because you could kill somebody one day. Okay, so I don't wanna make this video too long. I promise I will post more. The response y'all gave me made me so happy. So thank you. I did get some questions, so I'm gonna put this out here. Somebody asked me to be a private tutor, y'all. I'm not doing that, okay? I'm not doing that. I'm not helping nobody write a paper. Don't send me your homework. 
I'm done with school. I'm here to motivate. <laughs> but thank you.